So we've got an ACL patient that has clicking and pain with single leg squat. So go ahead and do a single leg squat. So if we look at this and we understand the mechanics of a single leg squat at that angle, we might think that this could be a genuine articularis problem. When we go check our work and find out that genuine articularis is inhibited, we reverse the inhibition, come back and redo the same squat, he still has a click, he still has pain. What else could be going on at that angle? So one more time. What about soleus? So we go and check our work, soleus is inhibited, reverse inhibition, come back, and guess what? Now no click, no pain. But I know what you're thinking, soleus isn't active here. Yes it is, because the primary job of soleus is to control anterior knee translation during a squat, especially a single leg squat, because even though it doesn't cross the joint, it attaches to the tibia, which is one third of the bones that make up the joint. So if it doesn't stabilize anterior translation, right at the initiation of the single leg squat, one more time, so if it's not firing right there, now we lose stability, now we overload patellofemoral joint, and now we have problems. So if you understand biomechanics, anatomy, and physiology, and understand how to check your work and prove your work, you can get things like this better immediately rather than guess and play the conventional physical therapy game.